And now let us pray for ourselves and for our world. We bring to you, O God, we bring to you our concerns and our prayers for the world and those circumstances that weigh on our hearts and minds, those things that grieve you and us. We remember before you the loneliness of captives and prisoners and refugees, the grief of those who have experienced loss, the needs of strangers and the lonely, the frustration of the weak, and the pain of those who suffer. We remember before you those affected by natural disasters, earthquakes, forest fires, drought, flooding, tornadoes, and hurricanes. We remember before you our country and our world still dealing with COVID-19. We remember before you our country as we are in the midst of a national election with advanced voting open this weekend. We remember before you students of all ages and their families, teachers and staff, bus drivers and crossing guards as the first week of school ends. We remember before you those who have reasons to celebrate and to give thanks this day. Bless those who are excited because they are newly in love. Those who are proud of their children and their grandchildren. Those who are relieved because of good news and at peace because they have discovered new insights. Hear us now in this time of silence, O God, as we lift to you our prayers of need and brokenness and our prayers of blessing and promise. O oh Lord, where there is hatred, let us work for love. Where there is doubt, let us encourage trust. Where there is despair, let us be bearers of peace. And where there is sadness, let us help bring healing. Help us to live into the name that we have chosen for ourselves, Christian, a follower of Christ. And hear us now as we pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing hymn. 374, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. <laughs> 